What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Bimini Bay Men's Flats for long sleeve blood guard fishing shirts. I picked up at Walmart for $28.99 and $44.96 respectively. Out of five stars, these shirts get five out of five out of five customer reviews. These shirts do come in eight different colorways. Here in front of us today, we have blue mist, mist green and stone. These shirts also range between sizes small and 3XL. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions and a try on. I actually have a Columbia PFG fishing shirt in white behind me. It is an extra large, so it fits me just fine. I've worn it on numerous occasions. Uh, so we should be able to get a pretty good idea of how comfortable that shirt is compared to these shirts by Bimini Bay I picked up at Walmart. What I do want to quickly point out here is on Columbia's website, from what I understand, you can usually find their fishing shirts on sale. I believe they're on sale right now for $28.99, which is practically identical in price to these fishing shirts by Bimini Bay. The PFG fishing shirts also go up to about $60 in price. And this stone color Bimini Bay in extra large, which we have in front of us here today, actually retails for $45. So, the advantage here being is that they do top off at 45 is where the PFG fishing shirts top off at 60. So, so today we're going to find out if these shirts are just as good as the PFG fishing shirts for really the same price. So this will be an interesting comparison once we take a look at these shirts and then try on the PFG fishing shirt and then try this shirt on in comparison and we'll be able to get a good first impressions of it and you'll be the first to know. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this first impressions and stick around till the end of the video so you can see what these shirts look like on me and how well they compare to the Columbia PFG fishing shirt. So here in front of us today, we have the Bimini Bay Blood Guard fishing shirt. Uh, they are similar uh, because they have the two front pockets on them. Uh, you do get this little Velcro tag here, just like the Columbia PFG shirt. Uh, you get this netting behind the neck and also there's like a cape at the back that is vented, uh, that is open to allow air and to keep you cool. That also has this same white webbing. Uh, you get buttons on the sleeves here, uh, down by, you know, the cuffs and everything like that, just like the PFG fishing shirts. And last but not least, I think what you'll notice here is you get them in these phenomenal colors. Stone gray we have here at the far left or the far right, depending on which camera we're looking through. We've got uh, green mist in the middle, and then we have blue mist here at the end. All really nice light colors. These are actually great Easter colors too, by the way. Uh, this one is probably the most conservative. I was looking for this in white, but this is the closest I could come to white. So here you can see we have the Bimini Bay Blood Guard in stone. Right off the bat, it's extremely soft to the touch. It's a very nice, lightweight material, but it's also very sturdily built. You can pretty much tell because of all the stitching here. Uh, and also, I just wanna point out, this is 100% polyester, so it's a really nice moisture wicking material, and it's also SPF rated up to SPF 100 from what I understand. I think this is going to be a higher SPF rating than if you maybe went with the short sleeve version. That's due to the fact you have extra material here covering up uh, important parts of the body that get burnt the most, like your arms. If you're out there fishing in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, for example, or maybe if you're on the Pacific coast, you're definitely gonna get struck by the sun's harmful rays. And uh, what better way to cover up than go with a long sleeve shirt, right? But so what I actually enjoy about this shirt, what actually stood out to me the most, what gives it its premium look and feel are the buttons themselves. Now, I know that's not a big deal, but really if you're cutting costs, I think Walmart could have gone with just a stone tan colorway to match the rest of the shirt. They could have gone with black buttons. They could have gone with white buttons. White buttons probably would have been the best option or maybe a stone tan to match. But as you can see, these are actually sort of a tortoise. I uh, think of maybe like a pair of tortoise sunglasses, for example. They just have this sort of uh, speckling and spotting in them and they're kind of marbled a little bit like a marble countertop, but they're a nice brown 
gray. They contrast really nicely with the rest of the shirt. Uh, you get these buttons all over the place uh, at the sleeve here to tighten the sleeve or to vent the sleeve. And then of course you get them at the cuff so you can uh, unbutton the cuff and roll the sleeve up. Or if you wanna go for a more formal look, like if you're going to a really nice restaurant, you can button your sleeve down. Uh, if you actually look at the sleeve here, you get some stitching uh, here at this button down. And then you also get some pleats too. I'm not quite sure if you can see that, but there's a pleat right here. Also, another thing I actually want to point out here momentarily is you'll actually notice if you look at the tag here, not only do you get the price, and actually these were $16.97 when I did buy them, but because you know I do make these videos for people across the country, I can't guarantee that you're going to get this price at your local Walmart, but I was able to get that price at my local Walmart, so definitely be on the lookout for these shirts going on sale. But what I wanted to point out here was you can actually tell the colorway and the style of shirt just by looking at the tag. It's actually very easy to read. There are a few other shirts like this uh, that are either white or maybe gray. And once we get into the green and the blue, there are some different variations of those shirts as well, like darker blues and darker greens. You'll definitely be able to tell the color by actually looking at these letterings right here. So this actually says ST above the barcode at the very top right of the barcode. That stands for stone, and then you know it's the Bimini Bay Outfitters Limited shirt uh, because A, it'll say Bimini Bay Outfitters on it. Uh, you get the size here, and then you should be able to tell if it's a long sleeve or short sleeve, obviously. So usually what's actually pretty awesome about these shirts is they're extremely functional. Not only do they look awesome, and they really do uh, just scream Florida and boating and fishing and uh, water sports and fun, but they're extremely, extremely versatile and functional. So you've actually got two pockets on the front here and they're both the same exact size. Uh, as you can see, I've got the iPhone SE. This is the 2020, this is a 4.7 inch model. This can pretty much go right into the front pocket. So you can pretty much expect this to carry credit cards, IDs, wallets. And what's actually really nice is you'll see here at the bottom right hand corner and left hand corner of the pockets respectively, that they actually have small drains on them. Uh, so again, this just keeps in line with the whole moisture wicking technology here. And as you can see, I can actually get the iPhone 12 Pro in there. This is a 6.1 inch iPhone. Uh, it fits in these front two pockets uh, exceptionally well. Uh, you might not wanna keep a phone this large in these front pockets. It might just be a little bit saggy, but you never know, uh, whatever you want to do, whatever floats your boat, right? Uh, as you can see here, what's really cool is you do get these uh, little loops here that you can hang things off of. Uh, maybe you're hanging a lure off of it or some kind of hook, or maybe you've got a set of car keys that you want to hang off this shirt that you don't lose while you're out on the boat, right? Uh, you can definitely do that with this shirt. Like I said, it's extremely functional and versatile. It's meant to uh, pretty much serve you when you're out on the water here. And this is a really nice uh, Velcro piece here. As you can see it's actually stitched down, uh, it's cross stitched, and then it's actually stitched around the edges here. So yeah, this is actually a really very nice quality shirt here. You can see the stitching around the pockets themselves is very fine. No threads or poles or anything like that. Uh, again, like I did mention earlier, you do get the pleats on the shirt itself. But if you actually take a look at this front pocket here, you kind of get that similar look here with a bit of a crease down the right-hand side of this right pocket. So I think there's a bit of a, uh, a look here. It's kind of like a formal pleated look. Uh, we'll see if the Columbia PFG fishing shirt has that because I don't think it does. Uh, one thing I wanna point out, what's actually different between this pocket and this pocket is you'll actually notice that this pocket has a little pull tab here at the bottom. Uh, both pockets do have these drains like I was mentioning earlier, but if we actually look at this pocket here, it doesn't have that little uh, pull tab, that little elastic tab. It does have these loops, however, as where this pocket does not have those loops. So uh, also here is that Bimini Bay logo. It's also Velcroed down. Uh, you can actually just remove it on the uh, one side there and then it's stitched down to the other side. So really cool. You can actually hang some sunglasses off this or maybe if you've got like a carabiner clip with your car keys attached, you can do that as well. 
So as you can see, we actually have the shirt wide open on the table here. It might actually at first be just a little bit hard to make out the form of the shirt, but I think what's most important here is that you actually get a good idea of the quality of the shirt from the inside. At the top of the back here towards the neck is a nice netted area, and we'll get to the back of the shirt here momentarily, but you can actually see that it's pretty breathable. It's like a trunk material like you would get in a bathing suit. Uh, you actually get the uh, extra large tag sort of stitched onto the back here, and it itself is a nice light polyester material, so that should wick moisture nicely. Yeah, even though on the table here you can pretty much see the brown of the table underneath the material of the shirt itself, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, and then you can actually get a good look at the buttons themselves. And then if we flip the shirt over on its back side here, you can actually get a pretty good idea. But if you actually take a look at these side vents here, there actually is no uh, mesh material underneath them whatsoever. So that mesh material only covers these two front or two back pockets here, excuse me, while these two uh, I'm actually kind of questioning, are they even functional? Okay, so now that we've pretty much taken a look at the Bimini Bay Bloodguard long sleeve, we looked at the stone colorway, uh, we went over all the features that were nice about it and some of the things that were not so nice about it. But in order to get a good idea of the quality of the Bimini Bay Bloodguard long sleeve, we do have to compare it to the PFG. Now, one thing I do want to point out about this PFG is it is going to have some stains on it. Uh, and probably just a couple of little imperfections here and there, but that's because I've worn it out and uh, used it, right? So uh, one thing you'll notice here about both shirts is that they are long sleeve and they are of very similar style here. So if we actually look at the Bimini Bay Bloodguard, you get the left and right pocket. They're Velcroed down. Uh, you get the buttons going down the center of the shirt. They are long sleeve and you get the Bimini Bay logo on the left-hand side. There it is, Velcroed down. And then if we look at the PFG fishing shirt, it's pretty much the same. Uh, you get the buttons going down the middle of the shirt. You get uh, the pocket on the left and the right-hand side. Uh, you get the Columbia PFG logo Velcroed down, and this is removable, but it's kind of hard with one hand right now. Uh, one thing I think you'll actually notice here, now that I've got both shirts in the same exact form here, if you can point out one difference here, uh, I'll give you a thumbs up or a heart, you're going to get more branding on the PFG shirt than the Bimini Bay shirt. So that's due to the fact that uh, Columbia is a bigger brand and they have all these little sub brands, right, that they use to identify specific features, right? So this has Omni Shade, which is basically saying that it's SPF rated, you can wear it out in the sun. Uh, so it is here, stitched down, embroidered down in light gray on the sleeve here, uh, and you get uh, a little PFG elastic ring to hang things off, which is pretty nice. Not quite sure if you get that on the right sleeve, but we'll take a look at that. If not, just, uh, you know, bear with me here. But you can actually see that you get a little bit more character maybe with the PFG shirt. You actually get this stitching going down the middle of the sleeve here. Uh, also, even though both shirts are practically the same material, there's actually a bit of a different weaving going on. So this is sort of just a flat material. It's kind of soft and you can actually see some fiber sticking up, uh, like I pointed out behind the collar earlier. But what you'll actually notice about the PFG shirt, regardless of the stain here, are these little squares in this shirt here. And that's because it's stitched just a little bit differently. Uh, but what's actually kind of interesting here that I want to point out is these shirts pockets are actually kind of gusseted. You can actually see uh, they are kind of raised. Uh, they're stitched down here and then they're gusseted and they're stitched up here again. So it actually looks like a pocket uh, stitched down from the outside, but it's actually stitched down underneath really. Uh, I think there are different styles similar to the Bimini Bay shirt, but we can actually see here is this venting here is actually on the side of the shirt here and it actually runs all the way through to the opposite side which is pretty cool and actually if you look underneath here it's all mesh material right so it's all breathable and then of course at the back of the shirt here you get this really cool stitch down pfg logo and then if we actually go over here to the bimini bay shirt uh, you just get like i was showing earlier 
the two vented slots at the back. And then you get these two mock slots on the outside. I do want to quickly show off the differences between the insides of the shirts. Remember earlier I was saying that this is extremely important because you can tell just how functional and well built the shirt is. I think this is actually where you're going to make the biggest differentiation between the two shirts here. And first thing I want to point out is each shirt here is an extra large. So the Bimini Bay is an extra large and the Columbia shirt is an extra large. But one thing that might not be readily noticeable here is the mesh material on the Bimini Bay shirt is covering a much smaller surface area at the upper back portion of the shirt. As compared to the PFG shirt here, it is covering a much larger surface area. Uh, I would say this is probably two feet by two feet of surface area here of netting behind the PFG shirt. And then the Bimini Bay shirt here is probably, I would say a foot by a foot. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the Bimini Bay Blooded Fishing Shirt, I've shown it to you in stone and in green mist. I haven't showed it to you in blue mist, but we're going to save that for the try-on. Uh, I think all three shirts are going to be exactly the same in terms of build quality. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give these probably a 90% rating. I think they're great build quality. Uh, the colors are fantastic. There's no issues with stitching. Uh, I haven't tried the shirt on yet, so we'll have to see if they run true to size. But for the most part, uh, these shirts usually run a little bit bigger anyway. Uh, they're a little bit more looser fitting. So I do expect this shirt to fit just fine. I don't expect to have to go a size up, for example. Uh, but we have seen the differences between the two. Uh, there isn't so much of a quality difference. Both shirts are very well built and well designed and manufactured, but there are some little differences uh, that are actually going to make a big difference when you're actually out using them and performing in them. Uh, mainly the vent on the back of the Bimini Bay shirt is much smaller than the vent on the back of the PFG fishing shirt. Uh, but without further ado, to get a full scope of this comparison here. We're going to have to try them on. So we're going to go ahead and try on the Bimini Bay shirt first. I'm going to show it to you in blue first because you've already seen the stone and you've already seen the green. And then I'm going to basically uh, try on the PFG fishing shirt, which I already have a good idea of how well that's going to fit. Uh, but that being said, it is going to be the one to beat. So let's go ahead and see how they fit. And I'll let you know what my first impressions are at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so as promised, I'm showing you what this shirt looks like in blue mist. Now, first thing is first, what I want to point out here is you could wear this shirt out on the boat, obviously, but you can also wear this uh, out to dinner, for example. And as you can see here, I actually am wearing it with a pair of jeans and I actually think it looks great. Uh, I'm actually kind of going with an all blue colorway here. The hat is navy blue. This shirt is a light blue, which looks phenomenal, by the way. And then of course I've got the blue jeans on. So, and actually another thing I wanted to point out here was uh, you actually get two uh, options with the sleeve here. So on the right hand side, you actually get two button options, two sizing options. But on the left hand side here, you only get one sizing option. I think you might notice right now that I'm not wearing this with an undershirt. You know, that's how you wear a shirt like this. Uh, this is how I like to wear my shirts like this. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is this shirt uh, is exactly the same length all the way around. So it's actually uh, the same length at the front as it is at the back. Uh, this is an extra large, so that should give you a pretty good idea. And as you can see here, you do get the two front pockets here. Again, they're big enough for a phone, a wallet, ID cards, credit cards. Uh, I actually really do appreciate the sizing of these pockets, uh, but just to point this out, this phone here is the smallest iPhone and it is just a little bit too heavy and uh, makes these pockets sag. So uh, what I did point out earlier, what I actually do really like about these front pockets is because they are a polyester lining on the inside, they might not be as breathable or as moisture wicking as on the PFG shirt. But then again, because they're not made out of that mesh material, because the pockets on the chest are not lined with the mesh material, I think they're going to be a little bit less prone to tearing and things falling out. So, okay, and last but not least, here we are in the PFG fishing shirt 
One thing I want to quickly point out here is this shirt is much bigger. There's a lot more material here. Uh, this shirt is an extra large. The Bimini Bay was also an extra large. But as you can see, you actually get a lot more material here in the arms that you didn't get with the Bimini Bay shirt. Also, I think what you'll notice here are these cuffs are much wider too and they go much further down the wrist. And actually, if I actually do a little bit of a profile here, there is so much material in this sleeve. Uh, these sleeves might actually be the same length as the Bimini Bay shirt. They might be just a little bit longer, but because there's so much material here, when I actually raise my arms, you'll see that the sleeve itself actually pretty much stays down uh, over the wrist uh, at the edge of my hand here, which is a good thing. That's pretty much what you want. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this first impressions and comparison. Today, we took a look at the Bimini Bay Bloodguard fishing shirt. I picked up at Walmart for $28.99 and $44.99 respectively, and we compared it to the PFG by Columbia fishing shirt you can find anywhere from between $30 and $60. Out of five stars, our Bimini Bay Bloodguard fishing shirt gets five out of five stars out of five customer reviews. Like I did mention at the beginning of the video, it does matter if you get it in a certain colorway. This colorway here is green mist. It was $28.99. The blue mist colorway, which we tried on, which looked really great, by the way, that was $28.99. But if you do remember the stone colorway, that was $44.99. Uh, these PFG fishing shirts do range between $30 and $60. I'm not going to go ahead and consider this a $60 shirt. Again, that's my fault for not knowing the price of this shirt, but I would definitely say that this shirt is probably similar in price to this shirt, but this shirt has definitely the better features. I just get just a little bit extra with this, but without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I really hope you enjoyed that first impressions and try on and comparison. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this first impressions and comparison. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it actually gave you some valuable insight. And last but not least, before we close this video out, go ahead and check out our merchandise store. I will be updating it pretty soon and adding some more items. So if you don't like anything on there now, maybe give it another look in a couple days and see if there's something you will like on there. Uh, without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. My name is John. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.